Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this subject about the signs that you're a medium. What are the signs that you're a medium? These are the questions that we ask ourselves. Is it because we're sensitive that we may have mediumship going on in our lives? Now, if you're enjoying the questions, please give it a like. And if you're enjoying the channel, like this video and also subscribe. And you'll find that you will be notified when I go live with, because most of my questions that I answer on YouTube I do live. So what are the signs that you're a medium? Now, there are many things that we have that can show us who we are and how, how we are a medium. And I'm just going to say hello to people join us. I can see you and it's good to have you with me. One of the things we, we notice when people notice they have the gift of mediumship is they're, they're highly sensitive and empathic. And empathic in the way that if you walk up to someone, you're feeling a great mood and you, you shake their hand and all of a sudden you feel sad and you don't know why you feel sad. So it's like it's like you feel this sadness just shaking the hand of someone or even just being around someone. So you're so empathic and sensitive, you pick up other people's emotions. So that's number one. That's the that's the thing picking up other people's feelings or emotions as if they are yours. Hello to those people that are joining me. It's good to have you with me and I can see you, so it's good. So, but also the empathic thing is also in places. Imagine walking into an old castle and suddenly you're aware of the things that have taken place in the past just through the empathic feelings that you have. This is very common for people that have got mediumship to walk into an old castle or walk into a house and suddenly be aware of what's taken place. And yes, you've caught me live. That's a good thing. But yeah, so empathic walking into places. And in those places, if you were to walk into somebody's home and there was an argument before you arrived and you said that you walk in, you say, how are you doing? And they say, we're doing fine. You would feel the essence of what taken place as you'd be like, oh, this feels a bit strange. Or you'd feel if you walked into a bar, you would feel, oh, it, something's going to happen. So I may I may need to I may need to move or get out of here. So one of these things is that empathic nature that you can pick up information, not only that's going to happen in, in, in the moment, but things that have happened in the past with that empathic nature that you have. So that's very interesting. But also, have you ever had that feeling when you're on your own and you're walking along and suddenly there's nobody there and you may be in the middle of nowhere or you could be in your own home and suddenly you hear spirit calling your name. All of a sudden you feel spirit calling your name. So it's like, oh, and you might hear, I would hear Jason, you might hear your name. But hearing your name being called is very common. It used to happen to me when I was doing night shifts and it used to happen when I was walking in the night shift on my own. All of a sudden I'd hear my name being called, turn around, there's nobody there. And so that's a very common one where you feel your name is being called and you turn around, they're there. Another thing is you feel that someone's watching you. And that's something that happened to me a lot. All of a sudden you think, oh, somebody's watching me. And then you turn around and there's nobody there. So that feeling of somebody watching you is the spirit world watching you and you turn around, there's nobody there. So that's that feeling, it's that sensitivity opening up which mediums use to connect to the spirit world so you can also have moments where you feel that the spirit world is behind you and I see some of you actually get this happening to you which is really good so but you can suddenly be in a room on your own and you'll feel oh my, I feel like there's a, someone behind me and that happened to me in my in my beginning where I felt there was someone behind me the whole time and I had to go to a medium to find out who that was and, and what was going on. So that's an interesting thing. So I hear that some of you often hear your name being called when you wake up. Well, yeah, so that's interesting, isn't it? And it sounds like it sounds like my husband, but he's either asleep or downstairs. So it's really interesting how you how you have that happen. And so it happens to a lot of us, and it's a really 
positive sign that the spirit is trying to communicate with your clear audience with your hearing so and i hear some of you it's all the time in the garden so it's interesting how that how that we hear spirit calling our names but we can even feel spirit around us and we'll be like oh there's somebody there but i don't know who it is or you may feel spirit is touching you on the shoulder or playing with your hair these sort of signs are very similar that you may be very clairsentient and you're picking up spirit so that's the feeling side of it so is it not the spirit guides or angels it can be it can very well be for me and that's funny enough i tried to run five kilometers when i felt that someone was behind me i couldn't see them i didn't know anything about mediumship at the time i think i was in my 20s so i ran five kilometers to get rid of the person that was behind me when i went to a medium this will probably make you laugh was I went to the medium and they turned around and said to me, it's your guide. And I'm like, oh, okay, so that's who this guy is, right? So that's when I was aware that my mediumship was opening up and I was aware of the spirit world. So it can be, you know, your spirit guides standing behind you, or it could be a loved one from spirit standing behind you. So seeing as well is one of the things that you know that you're medium one of the signs is when you see spirit out the corner of your eye so you'll maybe see a silhouette or you'll see you might even see a shadow or you'll see someone standing there and when you turn to look they're gone that's one of these signs that you can have when you're when you're having this mediumship opening up for you so yeah, I hear that some of you uh, get the taps on the shoulders and uh, your hands are getting touched. It's very common. So this sensitivity becomes like almost physical. If you're enjoying the video, please uh, put, give the thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do. And you can see when I'm going live at any time. But yes, you see that moment of touch from spirit, but also that moment when you see them in the corner of your eyes and you turn and they're, they're not there. Or you may even see suddenly you're seeing someone standing there in your room and you'll have a look and then you look again and they're gone this is very common in the beginning of someone that's opening up to spirit because the spirit world there's nothing more that they want to do is to wake you up to the realization that you have mediumship gifts so they will try it in all these ways that i've mentioned and they certainly try it in seeing and the moment they have the idea oh you can see me they do it more often uh, I see that some of you are actually feel spirit and see spirit with you, with you, within your eyes mind and that's a, that's also a way of seeing spirit so you'll be feeling spirit but you'll also see within your inner eye that spirit is there and that's how it can work because we can see like outside of ourselves which is objectively what I, which I was talking about but we can all see within that inner eye uh, as well so that's also very very possible so you know so i can see that some of you have been having that experience with seeing and feeling now smell is another sign that you're opening up as a medium some all of a sudden you'll be in the room on your own there'll be nothing there and suddenly you smell flowers and they might be the flowers of a loved one that's passed that you recognize or it may even be the perfume and that can that can happen quite often also, cigarettes or cigar smoke might be connected to the person that you, you knew in the spirit world. So you may smell cigarette smoke or cigar smoke, flowers or perfume at any time when you're on your own. And these are, the, these are also a way of, hey, you're, you're becoming aware of that smells that cigarettes or flowers or perfume that the spirit world are bringing to you to make you realize that you have a certain gift here opening up. One of the things is quite funny is what my brother was was a, a bit of a smoker. I always said to him, you're not allowed to smoke in my car. And even to today, when I'm driving along, I can still smell the smoke and I can still look in the corner of my eye. I'll see him sitting there. And I said, I've told you a hundred times not to smoke in my car, but it is so lovely and reassuring to know that the spirit has joined me on my journey. And that's a good thing. I see that some of you uh, uh, smell cigarette smoke and lovely perfume. Um, but 
I can also see that some of you smell pipe tobacco. Yeah, yeah, because that that might be connected to to someone. Yeah, your your dad used to smoke a pipe. So there you go. That's that's these things like pipe to, tobacco can can smell a little bit a little bit more pungent than cigarette smoke. So we can differentiate between them and say, oh, isn't it nice that dad's close by because we can smell the smoke. So there you go. These these validations that spirit has started to bring with, to us to let us know the signs that we are a medium. Now, lights, lights are something because lights can flicker whenever you're around. So they may flicker because spirit's around, but also energetically, you may be having an effect on electrical appliances or lights. If that's something for you, like light bulbs will all go and stuff like that when you're around and lights will flicker and so the spirit is coming closer that's very common to people that have got the gift of mediumship and also music music can also come within your dreams so that when this music comes within your dreams it, suddenly you'll be woken up with a song and it will be the song that you remember from a loved one so we have this movement within us hey we're waking up with these songs from the spirit world but also you may walk into a shop and suddenly their music is playing there you may walk into another shop and their music is playing there or walk into a different a different place a cafe or a pub and they're still playing the same music in that way the spirit world are trying to co communicate with you and let you know that they're there and they believe in you and your gifts it's great to hear that you're a developing medium, and in, and that's a good thing because we are always developing and we're always on this journey to knowledge. But within the music that they can give you, and that's the main thing to remember, is there is always a message. It might be in the lyrics. It might be in the feeling that it gives you. With the music that's being played, you may feel at the same time the energy of your loved one just giving you that reassurance that they're there. And they're letting you know at the same time that you can feel that they're close. So this is another sign. Dreams on their own, you can have visitation dreams, which we call mediumship dreams. These dreams can happen where the spirit world suddenly appear there and they show you that they're healthy. Everything's all right. You have a conversation with them and then you wake up and say, oh, my God, that was so vivid. So these mediumship dreams are letting you know it's another sign that you have this connection to the spirit world and you can connect with loved ones and people that have passed to the spirit world so dream mediumship is something as well that you can that you can see so i'm just reading some of your comments i get songs in my head even have to keep singing them drive me mad yes that's something very common that the spirit world will communicate via, via the lyrics of songs and the message just the message that we need to hear so very very good to to hear that so another sign, and that's one of the, is that knowing, you know, that know where you just know, and you don't know how you know, you just know. So that inner knowing when you make a decision that you're going in the right, right, right pla place at the right time, you just know. That knowing is something that also mediums have, and it's also a sign. So if you've had one of one or more of maybe three or four of these signs that I've told you, about the uh, the mediumship then you're very very gifted in in some way where you can actually develop your mediumship to a next level obviously the choice is yours and it's up to you to, to to make the choice to do this i have in my family i have my my children they all have a certain gift um to be able to do mediumship but they've made the choice to just live their lives and that's okay so whether you want to experiment, whether you want to move into your mediumship and follow these signs, because if the spirit world give you more of a nudge to do mediumship, then you know, hey, this must be the pathway for me. For me, it was the same way. My brother could not wait to tell me that the spirit world existed. Uh, lights were flickering. I felt tapping on my shoulder, playing with my hair, music coming into my mind. I felt him standing behind me, the smells of flowers, all this sort of thing that I'm explaining is exactly how the spirit world nudged me to step into my mediumship and become a mediumship teacher. So I'm just reading. My beloved mum was uh, in the dream the other day, but I could only see the back of her. But does that mean, Jason? Well, normally it just means that they visited 
and just and it just they, they probably didn't have the time or the energy to communicate but they just want to let you know hey i'm here i'm okay so when you uh, came out of the dream you probably have the feeling oh that's funny i just saw my mum so that gives you that feeling hey she was here so it takes a lot of energy to to connect so that's a, a very positive sign there i have moved into mediumship and it's amazing good to hear that's the good thing because what I found, and this is for anyone that's got these signs that you're a medium, is I just want to say to you is, for me, really, when I started to study mediumship and when I started to step in and learn to use these gifts, I found it was easier for me to live my life. When I didn't, I felt unbalanced. I felt separated. I felt misunderstood. All these things that I felt when I didn't know what was going on with me, and that's why I'm sharing you this in the video, so that you don't need to be in that space of not knowing. And if you've got one or more of these things happening to you, it's very possible that you have a gift that you can develop. And in the development procedure, when you do develop, you actually find a bit more grounding in yourself and you find a bit more, you know, feeling of, I know what who I am and where I'm going. It's really the journey back to finding yourself and that's the main thing so that inner knowing you know when you're on the right path you know when you're moving in the right direction so i see some people have moved into mediumship and they think it's amazing and that's lovely thanks and yes exactly what happened to me wow yeah and it's very common so if you enjoyed, enjoyed the video please give it a like don't don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also if anyone wants to support me on my channel in any way there is a join button and i do special meetups on youtube for the people that join and support me as well so these signs that you are a medium one empathic two um hearing three feeling seeing smelling also the the music the lights the knowing and that flickering of lights and within your dreams all the things that i've mentioned just know that that's just showing you that you have an ability that you could probably develop if you'd given it time and you give it you follow this journey check out some other videos on my channel and you'll find that that will help you so I saw a lady spirits years ago and my boyfriend uh, flat. She put her hand out and said, help me. I found out she was murdered by her husband. So there you go. There's some, there's a spirit person presenting themselves to you to show you that that's your, that, that you have a certain gift. This is very common when, when medium, when mediums are, are, are clairvoyant that they will see spirit and they can say, Hey, I can suddenly realize that I have a more and more of a gift. So lots of the spirit asked me for help. How can I? And the question, and the answer to that is we can't help everyone. So the main thing to learn with mediumship is to learn first to take care of ourselves. And then we take care of the spirit world. So the main thing is to have boundaries and say to the spirit world, if you really want me to help you, then make sure that you get me in contact with the person that you want to come for. So I always send out that thought to the spirit world. If you would like me to help you, bring the person that needs to come for the reading to me, and then I will certainly help them. And in that way, it works the other way around. So just know it's a journey. And if you've got any questions about this journey, don't forget to write in the comments and let me know what, what you think. Thank you for your time. You are brilliant and very inspiring to me. Well, thank you, Sharon. It's very nice of you to say. And it's very nice of all of you to be here. Fantastic being here. I just want to say to you, have a great day. And I look forward to the next time where I do another live on another question. Thank you.